Hey boys and girls, today we're going to talk about how we can use arrays to help us with multiplication. So our learning goals for today are, I can use equal groups to create arrays that model multiplication, and I can write a multiplication sentence to match my array. Okay, so we're going to jump into those in just a little bit. First, I want to review on how we can take a picture and turn it into a multiplication expression. So if we jump into our next part over here, it says, Jordan uses three lemons to make one pitcher of lemonade. He makes four pitchers. How many lemons does he draw all together? Does he use all together? So for this, what I would do is I would draw a picture for sure. If you want, you can take out your dry erase board and you can draw a picture along with me. Um, or you can just follow along with me as I illustrate this picture for you. So remember, there's three pitchers or three lemons in one pitcher. So if I were to draw this, there's one pitcher right there because there's three in each one. Well, they made four pictures, so I have to keep going until I have four pictures. So there's one picture. There's my second picture with three in it. There's my third picture with three in it. And then there's my fourth picture with four in it. So if I wanted to write a addition, a repeated addition sentence to match this problem, I could say that there are three in each group. So I could draw, let me grab my pen here, three plus three plus three plus three, okay? Then to be able to solve that, I could skip count by three, as I could go three, six, nine, 12. If I needed practice with being able to solve that problem without being able to skip count, that's okay. Use your picture, it's there to help you. You could count the pictures, all the total number of lemons in that picture. Now, if I wanted to write something that maybe might be a little bit more efficient of a way to solve this problem is I could use multiplication. Remember, efficient is just a way that could be faster. So what's the fastest way maybe for us to solve this problem? So I know that the first number in my multiplication expression has to be the number of groups. Well, here's one, two, three, four. There's four groups. The second number tells me how many are in each group. So if I count here, there's one, two, three in each group. So four times three will also give me 12, okay? But notice how that was a much faster way to be able to write and solve that equation than the repeated addition way, okay? So now is where we're gonna jump into what we're doing in today's lesson. Today, we're going to take the picture of our lemons that we just drew, and I wanna be able to draw an array that matches that. So for this next part of the group, um, for part of the lesson, you need to grab your array template and you're gonna slide it into your dry erase pocket to be able to participate with this part of the lesson. So if you don't have that, pause it and go grab it now. Okay, and let's jump in and get started. So if I have one group of my lemons, there's my three lemons. Right here in my array, I have three circles that represents the, that, the, that first group of three lemons. So I can skip count or I can actually count those one, two, three, and I'm going to write three next to it. And you can do that as well. If I'd like to go to my next group of lemons, okay, I'm going to slide this down and I'm going to draw another group of lemons. So one, two, three, just like we did last time. So if I have three and then I add three more, that's going to give me six. Okay. Then okay, I got to keep going. There's another group. These are also called rows when they go side to side like that. Um, so row is also another way to draw a group of something. That's how you can kind of transfer that to what we've already learned. So here's my next group. So there's my next one down there. So I'm at three, six, nine. Okay. And then I need to keep going right here. So I'm at three, six, nine. I have one more group that I just unveiled right there. And that gives me my 12. Okay, so you can also draw this, you can use pictures like we did with the lemons at the top, or you can draw arrays to be able to help solve multiplication problems, which is what we did just now. So we took that same problem with Jordan had um, made four pitchers of lemonade, each pitcher had three lemons. We drew this in two different ways. The first way was the pictures, the second way was in the array. Okay, so that's what we're gonna continue on with today. Let's jump in and let's, let's just unveil one more row. So now if I had 12 and I want to count up more, if you still can count by threes, rock on, keep going, count by your threes. If you're struggling with that, no problem. Just put 12 in your head and count up three more. So 12, 
13, 14, 15. Okay, you can always use that counting on strategy. Um, let's take another one down too. You guys can do the same thing on your board. So we're at three, or I'm sorry, we're at one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, six rows. We have six rows right now. So six rows of three is going to give me a total of 18. You could also put in your head, you can go 15, 16, 17, 18, and then you would have your three more. Let's go crazy. Keep going, friends. Take down another one on your array template. So we're at 18, 19, 20, 21. Move your paper down a little bit more, just like me. So we're at 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, keep going, friends. We're going crazy today. 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go down another one. Last one. 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, what I want you guys to notice is in this whole big giant array, wow, there's 30 circles in this array. There's three in each group. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice how it's all lined up nice and neat from going up and down and from side to side. What I want you to do is look at your array right now and I want you to count how many rows are in this array. Remember, a row goes side to side. So how many rows total are in this array? I can go one, two, three, four, and so on. Get ready, tell me how many. How many rows are in this array? 10, yeah, you got it, good job. So if I wanted to write a multiplication expression that matched this one, this array itself, I would end up writing 10, because remember the first number in your multiplication sentence is how many groups there are. And groups are also known as rows in arrays, okay, so 10. And the second number is how many are in each array, or each row, I'm sorry. So 10 times 3 equals 30. Okay, same thing we got here. Check that out. Whoop. Okay, so those arrays are there to help you solve multiplication problems. Okay, let's jump in and look at another example. Okay, so my first thing that um, I want you guys to notice in this array is how many... Um, how many rectangles are in the top row? So just this top row right here. Four. Yeah, you're right. So the size of one row is four. This can also be called a group. So one group of four. So here's one group of four. Here's another group of four. And here's another group of four. So my first question is, why did I write this three down here already? I wrote three times blank equals blank. Why did I write that three? If you said because there's three rows, you're right. Remember, because the first one is how many groups or how many rows are there. The second one is how many are in each group or row. So you guys just told me that before, and that's four. So three times four, you can skip count by this. You can go four, eight, 12, okay? Remember, if you're fluent with that, rock on. You can be fluent with that. If you're not fluent with that skip counting by those fours, count the rows. So count four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's perfectly fine for right now too, okay? So three times four gives me 12. So check that out, friends. That's an array too. So you guys just solved two problems with two different arrays, right on. Let's jump into another problem. This is where you're going to actually get to draw the array for this one, okay? So I would like for you to redraw the equal groups as an array. Okay. So remember, the number of groups is how many rows there are. So I have one, two, three groups. Okay. So think about how many rows do I need to draw to match that. And then think about how many go in each one. Go ahead and pause the video and I want you to try and draw um, your array that matches this. And then I would also like for you to try and write the multiplication expression that matches it. Okay. So go ahead and give that a try. Pause the video. When you're done, click play and we'll go over it. Okay, friends, let's talk about it. If you still need time, pause, keep working. If not, here we go. This is what my array would look like. Ta-da! Okay, so I have three groups. One, two, three groups. So I have three rows. One, two, three. Then I also noticed that there was five in each group. So I made sure that I had five in each 
row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, each one nice, nice and neat, lined up straight up and down and side to side. Okay, so now let's talk about what kind of expression that we could draw or we could write that matches this. So remember, we're thinking multiplication for this one. So remember, the first number that you have is your number of groups. Well, if I look here, there's one, two, three groups. Three groups. The second number is how many are in each group. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's three in each group. For this one, I could skip count by fives, right? I could go five, 10, 15. Okay, so if that's good for you to skip count by fives, rock on, do it. If you need to be able to count each one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's absolutely fine too, okay? So good job with that one, friends. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, so this one, I want you to redraw the equal groups as an array with six rows of two. So go ahead and draw that six rows, remember, side to side, with two in each row. Then I want you to write a multiplication expression that matches that, okay? Once you do that, click play, and then we'll keep going. So pause, do your work, solve it on your dry erase board, when you're ready, click play, and we'll talk about it together. All right, let's jump in, friends. Let me show you what my array looks like. There it is. Ta-da! There it is. So I have six rows. Let me do this. One, two, three. Whoops. There's my four, five, and six. Okay, so there's my six rows, and there's two in each row. One, two. Okay. Now, if I wanna come back over here and I wanna take a look at what my multiplication expression is going to look like. Remember, the first number is how many groups or rows there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups or rows, whoa, I made a big six there. <laughs> the second number is how many are in each group? Well, there's one, two, so there's two in each one. So for this problem, you could absolutely skip count by two. So you could go two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. So six times two gives you the product of 12. Um, I also want you guys to pay attention to that because I didn't, I totally forgot to say that earlier in the group, in the lesson. The total number that you come up with at the end in a multiplication expression is called the product or the total, okay? So just keep that in the back of your mind. If someone says, what's the product? You know you're multiplying and to find the total, okay? Um, you could also remember with this, you could skip count by twos because they're in groups of two. You could also just count through one, two, three, four, and so on until you get all of the triangles, okay? So friends, you guys did a great job today. You're gonna work super hard and do your best um, on your practice part of this lesson. So please go ahead and head back over to the module to see what you guys need to complete for today. You guys did a great job. Please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you soon, friends. Bye.